you follow the link on my homepage, uh, you'll find my unstructable stuff. Well, there's a lot of stuff that I've been working on, on over this last couple of years. May be interesting, may not be not. Up to yourself, you decide. Uh, here we are. Engine's now got the piston in, and I used a 3mm set screw. Couldn't find any soft enough stuff to be able to thread, so I just cut the head off a set screw, threaded it into the piston, and drilled and tapped this block. I, it's drilled right down to the bottom, and that allowed me to adjust just the stroke length because the frame is slightly narrow of a very little clearance in fact I needed to actually just file a little angle there just to make sure that it wouldn't strike the flywheel when running at speed also to help it stop the flywheel creeping forward I added this little pulley at the back which will also be able to drive something possibly I turned that out of one of these, it's found a lot of these, they're the sprue from brass casting. Uh, my dad had these, he used to repair clocks and he would have used these to make little decorative knob things for to go on the top of clocks and such. Uh, the next thing to do will be to start on the pipe work. I've already got the two millimeter copper tube and I've annealed it and bent it into the first two angles which will come out of this block and then down and out of this old brass door bolt well it was a new brass door bolt I'm going to little, make a little block I'll mill a flat on this on that pre-drilled hole had a spring and a ball bearing in it that stops the the pin from dropping down when you lift it up or if it's in the up position or vertical should I say so I'll mill a flat on that drill a hole to accept the copper pipe and then here's more scrap this is an old brass ball valve arm I used to get a lot of these broken when I was working in the hardware store I people come in and ask if they're a new one and usually leave the old one behind them so I used to bring them home just for the brass to use them for various bits and pieces I, I'll make a little pipe that fits into the, that hole and it'll come out through here the block will be held onto the frame with a screw and that will allow me to attach this a six millimeter outer diameter silicone tube with the four mil inner diameter it's just a nice push fit for that at the moment and this is food grade stuff it's used in coca-cola machines uh, vending machines uh, milk and parlors etc but it can withstand something like 240 degrees so that's enough to run steam through a slight discoloration on this pulley is because to face that side I first turned the 8mm sort of inner part and I found a cutting tool that had been, well I don't think it was a threading tool because it had been for a very very big thread. It was most something, likely something my dad had to cut a V in something for. And it was enough to cut the V in the little pulley. And then I parted it off only to face this side. I was in the Poundland and bought some tent pegs or galvanized steel it machines reasonably well so I 
turned this down till it was uh, just a tight push fit and then using a bit of super glue glued it on and was able to face this and polish the this side so you can see it came up absolutely perfectly uh, and that discoloration will polish out when the thing's finished all I have to do now is really cosmetic work and the pipe work I'll try and remove the chuck marks from this block and mill this recess out because it was filed it was a tedious all day job it's horrible trying to file brass with a small needle file especially if it's that wide but that's what it's looking like now it I have had it running only it required both hands to sort of hold things together and I was unable to film it next thing to do once I have the pipe work done will be to actually cut this frame to shape and you can see the scribe lines there I'm going to follow the contour of the flywheel and then angle it up to the block and just flush with the block on both sides so it'll be interesting I, this side will probably stay square or a very steep angle and this one might have a well honestly haven't decided yet uh, so just watch this space well that's it for for now so see you later bye bye for now